The probe into Brazil's state oil company Petrobras is the largest corruption scandal in the country's history. With a daily output of 2.5 million barrels of oil and 86,000 employees around the world, Petrobras is one of the world's largest oil multinationals. It was a potent symbol of booming Brazil during Lula da Silva's two-term presidency from 2003 to 2010. But in 2009, an investigation began to peel back the first layers of what turned out to be a colossal corruption scheme with Petrobras at the centre. It prompted the launch in 2014 of a major inquiry dubbed Operation Car Wash. The scale of the scandal became apparent when former Petrobras director Paolo Roberto Costa cooperated with investigators in exchange for reduced jail time. He accused some 50 politicians, most of them belonging to the Workers' Party of Lula and his successor Dilma Rousseff, of receiving billions of dollars in bribes. Rousseff was chairwoman of Petrobras during much of the period in question, but has never been formally accused of wrongdoing in connection with the scandal. The investigation revealed that a cartel formed by Brazil's biggest construction companies paid bribes to Petrobras directors and to politicians and political parties tied to the designation of these directors in order to win huge contracts. The bribes were calculated as a percentage of each overpriced contract. There was no real competition between the construction companies and that allowed them to set inflated prices. Stolen money is also suspected to have been funneled to political parties, including the Workers' Party and the PMDB party of current President Michel Temer. Several prominent politicians have already been sentenced to lengthy jail terms for corruption and scores more have been charged. In April 2017, Brazil's Supreme Court ordered corruption probes against around 100 politicians, including several government ministers and around a third of the Senate. Former President Lula was sentenced to nearly 10 years in prison for corruption in July 2017, but remains free pending an appeal.